you what it is youtube is your boy nisi coming back with another bullseye of a tutorial here today on the channel i wanted to do my very first compression cheat sheet they've been begging for it let's talk about today how to compress like a pro because it's never about only compression there's some other things that you know you know, engineers, especially like myself, you know, or you would, might want to consider when picking the right compressor, the appropriate one. So let's get to it right now. Let's not waste no time. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, all right? And check the links down below to support the channel. So let's listen to the vocal that we're going to be working with today. And we're going to talk about how to pick the right compressor like a pro, a couple things to think about when you're picking a compressor. Le a su baby que no llamen que no estoy presente Yo sigo berreando sin oponente Millonario pero es la mente El año pasado ustedes se quedan repitentes Quieren ser yo pero tragarse a mi leche no es suficiente Ya, yeah. rolando fin y con all right so you know that's the song that we're working with here today and i wanted to talk about compressors so i got this uh you know compression cheat sheet right here that you guys are going to be able to download for free you know, so uh, yeah, you know, this is the compression cheat sheet. Y'all boys gonna be able to download it for free and you'll be able to get, you know, um, you know, you, you'll you be able to get it, you know, you know, just go to the link, you'll download it, you know, and uh, yeah, you just download like that. I don't even think you might need to give your email or nothing like that. I don't really need that. I just wanted to talk about this quick compression cheat sheet. I'm Usually I'm not the type of person that's into cheat sheets, but no cap. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm loosening up to it. You know, I, I feel like this is something I could do different that could help y'all learn even more because that's what I care about. I want y'all to learn, bruh. You feel me? And I'm, I'm going to help y'all with it. So most important thing, though, the first compressor we're going to talk about today is effect compressor. So effect compressor is called a field. Uh, uh, what is it? Field effect transistor. There it is. Yeah. So a field effect transistor plug, uh, you know, a compressor. The most important thing about it is that's usually like an 1176. That's a drama 1973. You know, those compressors are known for being quick, you know. So usually when it comes to picking a compressor like that, you the very first one that a lot of people have is the CLA 76. So, you know, when I think of a compressor like this, right, you want to think about is it appropriate tonally? Because this has a very signature tone. It has like a Tabasco hot sauce. <sighs> That's spicy pumping and breathing style of compression, right? So let's see if I wanted to set up an 1176, how would I go about doing that live? So let's go on this first fat compressor. Let's go. Le a su baby que no llamen que no estoy presente. Yo sigo berreando sin oponente. Millonario pero es la mente. El año pasado ustedes se quedan repitentes. Quieren ser yo pero tragarse a mi leche no es suficiente. Yeah. Rolando Philly con el H. So 1176's fat compressors in general are good when it comes to talking about mid-range presence. They're even great on guitars as well, but you think about mid-range presence. Whenever you want to add some type of presence, it's not just about, you know, T taming peak level or anything like that it's also about you know the, the 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 tonal qualities that you get from the components so something like an 1176 it has transformers and it has the fat components right most important thing though is that it gives you a push kind of like at the the 10k hertz it gives a presence push you know and that's that's coming naturally first thing i do when i set a 1176 specifically i think about what time of day is it I listen to the song, what time of day is it? Is it day or night? And that's how I go be, beyond picking, is it bluey or blacky, right? When you listen to the beat, what do you hear? What does it make you think? Does it make you think nighttime or daytime? It kind of makes you think of nighttime because you hear the boom, 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 that you hear these dark minor chords, right? So that's usually how I go about trying to pick, you know, what's going to be like a professional sonic compressor is the tonal quality. I use my imagery in my head, right? You know, so I pick the blackie because those notes literally kind of sound dark. Boom, 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 boom. They kind of make you think about nighttime. So that's how I go about doing it. And if I want something brighter, I'll use bluey, right? So that's a great way of utilizing effect compressor. Okay, next type of compressors that we have is something called an optical compressor. So optical compressor 
processors have a light circuit inside of it. LA2A, LA3A, CL1B, they have a light, literally a light that glows as that vocal is starting to come into the, the CL1B. It says, oh my God, this vocal's coming, oh, coming right at me and it starts to glow brighter and brighter and brighter and brighter and brighter. You feel me? So the, the most important thing about understanding an optical compressor is it adds clarity, it adds a presence to a vocals that help things image uh, uh, very well, especially when it comes to a vocal. But they're also kind of slow. You know, they kind of like that ESCI jit. You feel me? They kind of like that little jit who kind of stupid. You feel me? He got a couple loose screws. He kind of slow, bruh. He kind of got, got to tell him twice. You feel me? So they have a slow release time, but they also give an, a, a, a good bit of warmth. Now, the optical component isn't what gives it warmth. It's usually like transformers or the tubes, like specifically inside of a CL1B, it has a tube amplification circuit, but it's not a tube compressor. You feel me? A tube compressor would be like a Fairchild where the actual tube is doing the compression. So let's look at something like a LA3A how or oh, LA2A how would I set something up like that Le a su baby que no llamen que no estoy presente Yo sigo berriando sin oponente Millonario pero es la mente El año pasado y ustedes se quedan repitentes Quieren ser yo pero traerse a mi leche no es suficiente Yeah, yeah. Rolando Philly con el hash Yeah, yeah Diamante pidió my watch Yeah, yeah Después que tenga todo que remash Mi si no es escorpión pero me está todo del cash Si soy caro imagínate cuando me he visto Mi flow Le a su baby que no llamen que no estoy presente Yo sigo berreando sin oponente Okay, so now this is a situation where I'm thinking about stability, right? Sometimes the compression is more than just taming a damn peak. It's sometimes it's about positioning too, right? So something like a, a optical compressor, generally, they are somewhat slow when it comes to the actual attack, you know, in relative terms. They're, they're kind of just slow, you know, they're not super grabby like an 1176, you know. Uh, a, a CLA-2A is a little bit slower, you know, it's a little bit, you know, calmer, a little bit more relaxed, like, oh, you can come through. Oh, oh wait, hold on, stop. You feel me? It has a little bit more of a human type of reaction to it. That's why people say it's warm, right? Because of the release time, it's somewhat slow, you feel me? It's somewhat, it kind of hugs the vocal. And when you think about hugging something, it's kind of like warmth, proximity, right? The, the optical component lets the transients come through. So because the transients are coming through, usually when you hear more transients, right? <laughs> Once you hear more of that, you your brain associates that with proximity, somebody being closer to you, right? So that's how you get the warmth you know, from a, something like a CLA-2A, right? A LA-2A, even a LA-3A has a warming characteristic. I would say most important thing about optical compressors, uh, LA-2A is just understanding that slow release time. It has a great way of holding the vocal in place. You know, the needle will usually tell you the story. The needle is a snitch. It's going to tell you what's going on, right? You feel me? And the needle is kind of telling us right now, snitching to us, telling us, oh, I'm kind of rocking back and forth. It's kind of holding the vocal in place on the beat. All right, after that, let's look at something like a Puig child, right? A Fairchild compressor. Veramu compressors include something like the Fairchild 670. It includes something like the Abbey Road RS124. It includes something like the Style Level, the 176. Those are Veramu compressors. Veramu compressors, they have a situation where the tube is actually doing the compression. Those are real tube compressors. You feel me? Those are like the first primitive grandpa, great, 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 great uncle way back in the day at the family reunion type of compressors. You feel me? So the, the, they're relatively slow. Even when you see a, a Veramu compressor, or say oh this is a fast release fast attack it's still relatively very slow bro right so what they do that tube right the tube compression has a great way of bringing the vocal forward and it also kind of smooths out the high end you know it smooths out the high end and adds natural brightness this is kind of like one of the first com true compressors that actually adds like a real nice air to the vocal you feel me and you'll see right here with the fairchild so i like to use the fairchild as a, a vocal brightener a lot of the times you know what i mean and I, I sometimes just running through the tube will make the vocal sound a little bit uh sparkly you feel me like a little soap on them Le a su baby que no llamen que no estoy presente Yo sigo berreando sin oponente Millonario pero es la mente El año pasado y ustedes se quedan repitentes Quieren ser yo pero traerse a mi leche no es suficiente yeah. Rolando Philly con el hash yeah. Yeah. Diamante pidió my watch yeah. So instantly you know when I want some smooth top end A little bit of smooth Like I had an inhaler I want some smooth air You feel me I will go to something like a Fairchild And you know with the 
time constants, consonants, just know usually the best one is something like six. So let me let me show you how I would set a fair child. I wouldn't do too much compression because like how I said, it's very slow. So, you know, it, it could be too so slow to the point where it could be like using like 2G on a phone or using like a throwback phone or Nokia phones or Blackberry from back in the day. That shit could be so slow trying to download the apps and everything. So I usually only like to do like tap it a little bit like a DB, maybe DB and a half. The more you go to like five, six, seven DB, it's going to sound horrible because that release time is just going to, oh, bro, why you being stingy with the vocal? Let go, you feel me? Le a su baby que no llame que no estoy presente Yo sigo berreando sin oponente Millonario pero es la mente El año pasa y ustedes se quedan repitentes Quieren ser yo pero traerse a mi leche no es suficiente yeah. Estoy rolando Philly con el H yeah. Yeah. De monte pidió my watch yeah. Yeah. Después que tenga todo que remash Mi sin no es copión pero me está todo del calle Si soy caro imagínate cuando me he visto Mi flow es otra vibra no sé si me has visto Me siento como un and also, sometimes what you can do is you can just use a Veramu compressor to get a little bit more body out of the vocals. I like to use something like the Abbey Road RS-124 to get the body specifically. So different tube compressors have that character. Okay, after that, we have something like the VCA compressor, which is located in something like an SSL channel strip, okay? Let's look at how I like to use a VCA compressor. Le a su baby que no llame que no estoy presente Yo sigo berreando sin oponente Millonario pero es la mente El año pasa y ustedes se quedan repitentes Quieren ser yo pero traerse a mi leche no es suficiente yeah. Estoy rolando Philly con el H yeah. Yeah. De monte pidió my watch yeah. Yeah. Después que tenga todo que remash Mi si no es copia when it comes to actual tone, like let's say all of these uh, compressors were like dressing up, I would feel like the SSL board compression would be like the new kid on the block. Usually that DB, that DBX 160, usually that that, that the SSL E compressor, they have a very modern tone. The API 2500, the VCA is a very modern tone. So when you want modern tone, you go with something like VCA. And VCA has a great way of being like rice crispy, snack crackle and pop in the vocal, adding some of that high end presence, right? So so how I like to usually use the compression is I like to use a very low ratio. I pull the threshold the whole way up. And even if you just have the threshold the whole way up, it will give you some saturation right off the bat. But the way I like to use it is threshold the whole way up in a very low ratio. That way it gathers the whole vocal together. It sends an invite to everybody and gets them to come together. You feel me? The, the compressor is like a preacher. It's like a pastor. It gets everybody to come together all in one place. You feel me? So usually I use a low ratio. But um, the harder you go up with the ratio on a VC a compressor like a SSLE, the knee will start to harden and a harder knee creates a, a jagged edge it creates a little bit more of aggressive tone for the vocal right so that's really dope um after that let's look at the last type of you know uh you know compressor which is gonna be the diode bridge compressor so let's look at how i would set something up like a uh you know germanium <laughs> So dial bridge compressors are like a situation where they're very colored, bro. They're very colored. They're like Crayola crayons, bro. They, they add some color to the picture, to the drawing, you feel me, which is the vocal. So this is really dope that this one right here because, bro, like you have the internal side chain, right, which makes the compressor a lot cleaner, you know. You also have the ability where this is kind of like related to an 1176 but with different components. So this is FET and dialed bridge together, right. Um, You have the Waves V-Comp, which is like a slower, you know, thumping.
thing type of you know thing and you always want to consider the tempo of the session right if the rapper the flow of the rapper too is very important if he's rapping flat he's rapping fast you know you might want to use a faster compressor that will be able to keep up if he's rapping a little bit slower you might want to go with a slower compressor you got to go with the flow when it comes to picking pro compression all right and then you have something like the chandler right and it's very colored you know you're very colored you feel me it just has a way of adding life to a vocal adding season seasoning ah this chicken don't got enough salt and pepper on this shit man oh my where the lemon pepper at bruh? sprinkle it all over and this is what a compressor like this does you feel me so this is pretty much the end of the video today you guys will be able to access the cheat sheet i will drop it down below so you guys know you know um you guys have an idea how you want to get it so this is pretty much the end of the video here today i want to say thank you very much for being a great part of my youtube family don't forget to like comment and subscribe check the pin uh you know the, the description down below to get everything that you need you know if in case you need a preset or whatever whatever or you want to get the cheat sheet go ahead and get it and the most important thing today is I hope I was able to help you understand the tonal qualities of compression. You know, hoping you understand the outside of the box, thinking of compression, how to pick the right compressor to get your vocal sounding pro and mainstream. So I just want to say thanks a lot for being a great part of my family. I appreciate y'all now. Let me know if y'all want more cheat sheets. Give me more ideas for cheat sheets, all right? Appreciate y'all. Peace.